Well, we're back at Overbury harvesting on day 13 or so of the harvest log. I think that's what day it is. Uh, we are cutting some spring barley. Um, it's a variety called Propino. It's destined for Molston Coors. Um, up in Burton on Trent, which is part of our uh, carling commitment, our, our um, Molston Coors Growers Group tonnage. Uh, really happy to be going today. Um, we had 22 20 to 25 mil of rain, depending on which rain gauge you look in. Um, the night before last, we finished the milling wheat off uh, literally an hour before it rained, and then we just got the headland of this field off its all's bushes. Uh, before we had an absolute deluge, rained all night, rained most of yesterday morning, uh, but since then the sun's come out and um, we've had a nice bit of breeze. We're, we're sort of, well, three quarters, 80% of the way up on the hill here, up on Breeden Hill, and uh, we are cutting this molting barley. It's standing up quite nicely, although there are a few heads uh, which are down on the ground, which the, the Faithful Mac Don can't quite pick up. Um, it's in flex mode at the moment because of the undulations up here, and you can just make out the little bar just in front of those springs there. That's where it pivots, and um, every now and then you see it just kind of ride over one of the the, the limestone Cotswold brash stones. It looks like a uh, a break dancing caterpillar type move, if uh, if you know what I mean. Um, I've no idea of quality, but yield is uh, absolutely remarkable. I'm sure that's not right. Um, although we have uh, we have weighed a couple of loads off the combine um, to recalibrate it, so moisture's about right. Um, this is its uh, fifth year no-till. This field. Um, it's after a cover crop of oats and beans, and it was winter wheat last year. That cover crop was grazed by the ewes in the autumn over the winter period and then this was direct drilled in around the 20th of March at about 400 seeds per square metre and it's just had a bit of manganese seed dressing uh, and that's it, some home safe seeds so uh, really really pleased with that um, and um, it's really pushing out some yield which, which is fantastic news um, so we shall see when, when the tonnage has been on over the wave ridge, what it actually yields, but um, the signs are very encouraging. The, the, the only thing we're really worried about at the moment is whether it is still going to be molting quality, um, because after the wet and, wet and dry periods of rain, uh, the germination tends to reduce on this. We need in excess of 98% germ to make the grade for the quality barley. So um, we've got samples away in the post, and we shall hopefully get some positive results back and with a dodgy-ish but maybe reasonable forecast because who knows, there are several. One say it's going to be wet, one say it's going to be dry. Um, then hopefully we will uh, we will be able to crack on and do this. We've got about 140 hectares to do, which is probably about three days work up here. So that's, uh, that's the field average at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, active terrain there on the combine that's sort of changing and altering as we as we climb up the hill here. So I need all my hands now. So um, tune in next time. <laughs>